Mm, damn, Q. Maybe you did that. What up, though? We back in the building, man. You already know what it is. BBW, that's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Back for another week, man. I got my man, Angry Principal, in the building. What's up? Got my man, Bo, holding it down. I see. And, of course, man, it's your boy, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205. All right, so look, we back in here talking about some shit, right? Uh, we, we on some rye, and y'all know how I feel about rye, but we got rye. It's a Templeton rye. Uh, Angry Principal uh, found this, though. He gonna give us a little background on it, so we gonna hit up the rye and see uh why he chose that today so uh, angry principal what you say man what what led you to templeton today uh walking through costco saw it it was huge it was <laughs> 31 bucks yeah that's it that's it <laughs> <laughs> it was huge that's, that's the reason pause. oh see see <laughs> hey, this is gonna be a lot of can't say nothing can't say nothing so, <laughs> like what yeah, that shit was huge <laughs> but it actually had a, a four-year age statement on it and normally right now you don't see anything with an age statement on it so for sure that's why that was one of the other reason i wanted to pick it up okay for sure and it's it is 80 proof okay uh but for 31 32 bucks yeah uh, and We're it's a that. liter Right, it's a leader. So yeah, yeah this this yeah. is not a fifth. This is bigger than a leader. Right. Okay, for sure. All right, so uh, let's uh, let's pop off in that motherfucker and see uh, what's to it. Dog. So first of all, before you pop it, can you ever tell before you pull it out? Pause. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a synthetic cork or a wood cork, can you tell from like eyeballing it? Or sometimes, you, sometimes, sometimes yeah. with the bottle being the way it is, you can't really tell. At the neck, it's kind of throws it off. You can't really tell. Yeah, it do look like a magnifying glass. Oh, right. All right, let's see what it is. Also with a cork. Oh, yeah, that was weird. Uh, and it's a synthetic. Synthetic, cork. Oh, okay. Man. Yeah, lightweight, lightweight. Fuck right there. <laughs> that should be like TCU's defense. <laughs> <laughs> Shout, Shout out, out to Colorado. <laughs> Shout out to Coach Prime. Coach Prime. Did Coach Prime. Prime. Yes, sir. Travis Hunter, best player in the country. Shout out to his fucking son throwing for five hundred school record on their ass. Four touchdowns. And as he said, he never threw for 500 at, uh, at Jackson State. Right. While you talking about Jackson State, they got no. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's supposedly inferior competition. competition. Right. Yeah. Exactly. You went out and put 500 on the number what? The team that played for the national championship. Yeah. Uh -huh. TCU is a bowl championship uh, team. Right around. Yeah. You dropped 500 yards on that team. Yo, oh. this shit smell hella sweet. But to be right, that's weird. Hella sweet. I like this. You like it already? I like it. Damn, I don't even know yet. You know, I fuck with rye anyway, but I smell the pepper. Let's see what it is. Like some grapes or something? Mm. Yeah, it's something like that. Yeah, yeah. Some kind of. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's crazy, though. Definitely don't taste sweet. <laughs> Definitely don't taste sweet. I fuck with it. Nice little peppery burn mm, in the finish. Yeah, it sure All right, does. So you get like a t tobacco or something? In there, I mean, maybe about that. Char, I got like maybe like 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 a like a. I got like a like a dark roast coffee type of okay, thing. You know right. what I mean? Oh, okay, maybe that's yeah, that. like a coffee. Yeah. Definitely, I definitely. I, the you know coffee mean? analogy is great. Mm -hmm. I like it. So the it's, pepper's not on it. I mean, the pepper's there. The pepper's, pepper's there. in the back. It's yeah, not as it ain't, strong as I thought. Right, it's in the back. Right. But what's oh, crazy? There it is. What's okay. crazy? Yeah, it's in the back. It finished. It's it's a strong peppery finish. But what's crazy about it is that I smell. <laughs> pause. <laughs> Whatever. Got a lot of pause in the day. Whatever. <laughs> but what, strong what, peppery finish. What's strange about it? <laughs> it's zesty. It's, it's, it's zesty. It's zesty. It's zesty. <laughs> I mean, it has some more pineapples in it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> How we? How All we right, just, I'm sorry. How I'm we sorry. just get started? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm yo, sorry. I'm yo, sorry. Yo, I'm sorry. But, but what I did want to say though is that there is a fruit, and I, I think it could be possibly great. On the on the so, nose, but I don't taste it. There's a hint of a fruit, yeah, yeah. I don't taste it. And, like, yeah, like I think it's like you get grape or it's it's, it's something I, like that. Yeah, man. I don't know. Yeah, 
But that coffee taste like it's definitely there. Uh-huh. Definitely Some coffee kind of taste. Leaf or plant or something. And I fuck with coffee, so maybe that's why I just like. Yeah, see, I'm not a coffee it. drinker. So yeah, I love coffee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe when coffee. I grow up, I will. Exactly <laughs> yeah. when you grow up. Yeah. All right, so get a little spice on the end. Obviously, a signature of a so, rye. Yeah. Um. So let, let's talk about it a little bit more. What 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 you? This is cool for mixing. I think it'd be great if you mixing something in. Uh, like what though? Because the a winter drink. Because yeah, of the coffee, because yeah. of the coffee. Well, thing. it is that season, yeah. It's some kind it's of that season. T- tailgate, some kind of tailgate drink yeah. or something like that. This is yeah, fall and you know? winter. Mm-hmm. Good for exactly. football the tailgate. Spice so gives you. it more of a fall and winter feel. Yep. Got you. Than it okay. would for the summer. Exactly. The eighty yeah. proof. It kicks harder than the eighty proof does. Normally would. I, I, mm-hmm. I got the, more out of it on the back end. On the back yeah. end, it does. Okay. Yeah. Like it don't. It don't. It don't alarm you. Like as soon as you drink it. Like it. As soon as you, on the front part of the palate, you can tell it's eighty. Right. But then once yeah. once it finishes, it, it could have been ninety, man. It's got a like, decent hug, yeah. For it's got a decent hug, proof, yeah. yeah, for eighty proof. That's my only gripe is that it's eighty proof. Right? Yeah, you know, it was like a little bit stronger, but like got long finish I like though. It. Yeah, it does very have, long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did the cigar do anything? No, I no. I, I, I would actually say don't smoke the cigar. Really? With it. Yeah. It's too light. Try, you all try it, but I, I don't like the taste of the cigar with this particular rock. Well, see, I got a fat bottom Betty, so it's already going to be sweet. I don't even yeah. want yeah, to put those two together. I got the Oliva. Yeah, because there is, there is a, a, a decent amount of sweetness to it, a fruit sweetness, of course. Um, again, I think the pepper dissolves that on the uh, on the finish. Uh, not bad, I guess, as far as ryes go. Uh, again, I, I'm not really a rye fan. I, I've had better rye, I think I'll say. Um, but I did want to ask this though, for you know the rye aficionados, <laughs> like what's uh what would you think is like the the perfect uh the perfect proof for a good rye? Because like eighty obviously is too low. So like, what do you think a perfect proof for a rye is? Like maybe ninety or that ninety two to a hundred? Yeah, uh-huh. I think it ain't got nah, at least be a, right. yeah, definitely at least ninety. At know? least ninety. Yeah. Offer it. Okay. You no, know, and I don't think it. I don't. I, for me, I don't want it. As strong as you know, in my, straight my yeah, my yeah. straight bourbon, right? Gotcha. Yeah, so for me, at least ninety, probably no more than about one hundred five for me. So it's nowhere near the Detroit City Rye or Detroit the City Travis Rye City Rye. Still nowhere to near. this to this day, aside from the Uncle Nearest Rye, my my favorite is the Traverse City Rye. I think that's the my favorite up to this point. Um, I will say this though, um, and I know y'all probably not gonna agree or not gonna like this. Cause the dog don't like uh, Bro Brothers, but I think that on the front end, oh, I forgot that bottle. It tastes like Bro Brothers on the front really? end. Yeah. Didn't get that at all. Yeah, on the front end, it's, it's that kind of light sweetness that Bro Brothers got. I okay, either, but the bro. difference between Bro Brothers and this one is the age. Yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah. Bro yeah. Brothers is like it's six months way old. Way younger. This is four years. It's so pretty, hey, bro Brothers is pretty young. It's not. It's not as young as Woodson. No, no. no. All right, so look, bro, we ain't gonna do that. Bro Brothers is. Yeah, that's an infant. <laughs> <laughs> you still changing this back. I like. I, I don't. I like Bro Brothers. Though. I like you know it too. I, mean? I, I, I want to find the bottle and I All forgot right. it. Yeah, right. I forgot okay. it. I'll we'll bring it. Brothers, I like the taste. Yeah, it's just too young. Too young. I it is, it do is not too like young. the young bourbons. Mm-hmm. So you. that's my issue. I got you. For I'm sure. not saying I'm not hating on Bo Brothers at all. <laughs> no, 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 we know that. Yeah, yeah. It's too young for me. This, I at least this is what the the age statement of four years. In which, if you look at most of your bourbons right now, they don't have age statements on them. You look at most of your uh, your, your whiskeys, they don't have age statements. So, f- to have an actual age statement, that's a big deal. So, you gotta uh, am I tripping it. though? After it breathe, after I let it breathe for a minute, I smell vanilla. I don't I mean, know if it's the, I don't know if it's the smoke. I'm not. Or, I'm not. I'm not surprised. You know, I, yeah. I smell you know some vanilla and some, and, vanilla, and, and yeah. some rice. Nothing. You know, but like, yeah, I didn't get vanilla off of this one. Yeah, I didn't, but. Uh, anyway, well, that's it. Uh, <laughs> you, you've heard our preliminary uh, analysis. So, of course, we got to go to uh, commercial break, and then we're going to come back with the uh, the power rating. We're going to see uh, how many black power fists we're going to give this. Uh, doesn't sound like it's going to be any ones today, so we should be good. Uh, <laughs> so let's uh, go ahead and take a break, man, and uh, see you on the other side of the commercial, man. You already know what it is. BBW, beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast, dog. We be beer, beer, beer. Why? Hey, yeah, I know. We got pig, uh, Porky Pig over here, right? right. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, but why have one on the scale if you ain't going to use it? You know? <laughs> then just make it for three to five. Then. Right, make it for three to five. Yeah. Yo, we'll be right back, man. God damn. <laughs> that's all, <laughs> <boys. laughs> All This is the website right now, www.bbw.com. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey. 
the podcast. The Taste of Black Spirits presents the Cocktail Concierge event. Get ready to indulge in a unique and exciting experience that celebrates the rich flavors of black spirits. It's going down Friday, September 29th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the elegant 525 West Lafayette Terrace Room in Detroit, Michigan. And we're back. Thank you guys for hanging out through the commercial breaks, man. You already know what it is. BBW, that's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Got my man Angry Principal and Bo holding it down. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. So uh, on the other side of the commercial, of course, you heard our preliminary analysis. Now we're about to go around and, and give it an actual review. All right. So it's from one to five black power fists, man. What we go give it. Uh, Bo, we're going to start with you. One to five. What you say, bro? Yeah, so just a couple things before, man. Um, I'm a big fan of rye. I, I really like 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 rye, uh, whiskey, rye, you know, uh, bourbon, whatnot. Um, for me, I wish it was a little bit stronger. Mm -hmm. You know, 80 proof is a little bit low for me. But as far as the flavor profile, man, like you know, there's just enough pepper there, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, and then like uh, get that strong coffee, you know, type of finish. For sure. And I fuck with coffee, you know. So like, you know, it's, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I give it a solid three and a half. Oh, so shit. Three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yep. I wasn't. I didn't think that. Wow, that's, that's higher. That's than high. That's yeah. way higher than I thought. Uh, Angry principal. What you say? All right. So um, for the price point and for the, for price the point age statement, five point five. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> for the mm -hmm. age statement, for the classic ride notes, mm -hmm. for the uh, just the fact that it's a leader. Mm -hmm. Right. For Thirty dollars. You know, I'm giving it a two and a half. Okay. Um, like I said, the flavors are there. Everything that you need out is going to be great for mixing things in, especially mm -hmm. in the fall and winter. Mm -hmm. You're out tailgating, like you said, Bo. Mm -hmm. This is the way to go. Mm -hmm. Mix that in with whatever you're doing, and uh, you should be all right. I wish it was stronger. It's not, but it does have a strong finish. It does. Not the not on the front front end, like you said, um, but on the back end, it's a strong finish, long hug. A lingering, so, a lingering yeah, finish, uh, too. Yeah, like, it still is. It's still in there. So yeah. I'm giving it two and a half. Uh, gotcha. Solid for, for 31 bucks. Solid. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Like, you're talking about a liter of liquor for $31. Yeah. Like, right, yeah. you know, you can't hey, beat that. Look, don't Just slip on Costco. They have some stuff up in there. Yeah, so, for sure. You know. Okay, that's what's up. All right, so for me, man, again, yeah, I didn't want to come in and be the buzzkill, but I don't like rye, right? So this one, uh, there's there's going to be no different. Uh, I'm probably, I'm going to give it a two, though, in comparison to the other ryes that I actually, like, I won't say I enjoy, but, like, I would mm -hmm. rather have, right? Um, so not not high up on the scale for me, but... Not too peppery to the point where it's disgusting, uh, but it is a very long finish. I will say this, though, with the rye and this this hella long finish, I don't really know what you can mix it with. I feel like if you mix it, it's go, it ain't going to taste good because it's too much. I think it's too much lingering spice on the end to mix it with anything. So once you get your apple cider, mm. dump a little bit in it, spice it apple up. Apple cider. Oh, yeah. Now, so there you, you warm go. that up. Now you got your okay. drink. Okay. Yeah, apple or, cider. or you cool yeah, it up whichever cider. way you decide to go. You do your apple cider, you do any of your fall drinks. You know how okay. people love their pumpkin spice. Yeah. Pumpkin spice. You know, you do all that and you dump this in there. You got just a nice whoever, amount of whoever spice. Whoever those people. To take care. <laughs> whoever those people are. Me? me I, fuck, I fuck with you coffee. You fuck with that? I fuck with, no. The coffee. pumpkin spice. No, coffee. No, that's what we talking about, pumpkin no, spice. No, I'm, I'm saying I fuck with coffee. You know, because it's got the coffee taste, right? So I'm right. saying we talking about drinks, what would you mix it with? Okay. You would fuck, fuck with, with coffee, it in some you know, coffee. I could, I could put it in some coffee, too. Right. Yeah, okay. you know, like yeah. you got for fall drinks or something like that. Yeah. yeah most definitely. I got you. Yeah. Okay. All pumpkin spice, no, my nigga. Yeah, right. That's what I was going to say. Like, nigga, you pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice latte. Right. Somebody out there drinking that shit. I'm Have sorry. The, the foam and an extra cup, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so on that note, man, it's looking like uh, looking at three point. The surprising three point five. I like it, man. Yeah, yeah two point five, and then it's a two for me. Um, again, I think that if you are a fan of rye, like they both said, these are classic rye notes. Mm -hmm. um, and for the price point, I mean, you can't you can't, can't do nothing but love it. Mm -hmm. And especially if you're going the route of mixing it with some drinks. $30, $30 for a, a liter, like, you really can't go wrong. Uh -huh. Throw it on the shelf, invite it to the uh, to your guests, mix it with some stuff, it's there for you. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Just don't offer me nothing. I'll bring my own shit. So, <laughs> on that note, we are about here, dog. Uh, again, check out all the replays on everybodylovesbbw.com. Also, not only the replays, but you can buy some merchandise, too. We got hats, T-shirts glasses mugs all kind of shit man so check us out everybody loves bbw.com uh, to the next time you already know what it is
BBW, beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Got my man, Angry Principal, in the building. Drink what you like, how you like. Got my man, Bo, holding it down. Hey, congrats to Coach Prime. Hey, hey, keep, we fuck with you, man. Keep out there. Keep proving my haters wrong, bro, I say. Duh, for sure. And, of course, man, it's your boy, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205, man. Peace out, y'all.